melanoma is a, a very aggressive uh, tumor and prognosis is poor in the metastatic stages. So one thing we may try is to identify early markers in patients at the very early stages. And one way to approach this is to uh, investigate uh, uh, sera or blood from uh, uh, patients at the early stages uh, and look for uh, any uh, molecule which might be differently expressed uh, as compared to a normal uh, healthy patient. Well, actually I started from therapeutics uh, and we have published uh, several papers where we show that uh, unexpectedly uh, growth factors may become uh, inhibitory factors uh, when they uh, have the chance to interact to each other. Because we realize at a certain point that uh, mechanisms uh, involved in the um, inhibition may be involved also as a marker. And now uh, we are basically investigating the mechanisms involved in the uh, anti-melanoma effect and in this um, uh, multiplex um, technology and bioplex technology help us a lot because we are making a, a phosphoproteome uh, investigation to identify uh, proteins activated or not or inactivated in, uh, in our uh, conditions. Before bioplex technology we could approach uh, only with the classic proteomic uh, uh, way which is actually expensive and requires specific expertise which often are not uh, um, uh, directly available. I first uh, uh, heard about Bioplex by a colleagues talking about HPV um, investigation using uh, uh, Bioplex technology. And then I realized that uh, um, HPV might, might be only one of the several different uh, application then we got in touch with uh, Biorad and uh, a new field opened in my research. Bioplex is uh, uh, useful for us for reproducibility, sensitivity and small volumes uh, needed to, to work with. Uh, it's a reliable uh, um, technique uh, with the magnetic uh, uh, beads uh, it has very uh, reproducible and uh, of course we need to validate with a different technique but uh, uh, the data are quite strong. Another interesting part of Dioplex technology is the sensitivity which goes down to low picograms per milliliter and we are having actually some problems to validate data with a different technology uh, because there are not so many ELISA uh, able to go down to a low picogram per milliliter level. This makes possible experiments which are basically not possible using uh, classic ELISA uh, where larger volumes are usually needed. The, the reasons why I decided to go into this kind of research is that um, reducing mortality in melanoma is a key, uh, is a key way to um, approach this, uh, this problem. Reducing mortality means uh, uh, either identifying new um, um, uh, therapeutic approach, effective therapeutic approach, or uh, identifying effective early uh, diagnostic approach. Both ways we can save uh, uh, human life.